Dun dun dun! Did the EU just ban self-custody wallets for crypto? We are going to be taking a look at that to start the video off. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for what is going to be another jam-packed daily cryptocurrency market update. As always, if you are new around here and finding yourself on my channel for the first time today, don't forget to check out that subscribe button because we drop an update just like this one around 1 p.m. UK time every single day to help you guys stay up to date with the latest and greatest things happening within the crypto space but also the broader markets. That's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to be starting off with the EU news. This was circulating all over Twitter. Um, this was one of the tweets that I read. Breaking, Europe has made self-custody crypto wallets illegal due to anti-money laundering. This is indeed not the case, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be breaking all that down. You can see the community notes below. Actually stating this isn't the case. You've got to be very careful when it comes to crypto Twitter. Twitter is the best and the worst place to get information. It can be the best. You can get early information on Twitter because you've got lots of really smart individuals on there, but you've also got, I don't know what to call them, um, on there uh, that are just, you know, almost bot-like. Um, but we'll, we'll dive in and we'll look at all this to start the video off. We'll sort of break it down in a little bit more detail, including going over to the official European Parliament document. Uh, also going to be hearing a little bit from BlackRock. Let's just start off actually in regards to the charts and the Bitcoin chart. Now, there's a plan that is being very much followed that we've set out for Bitcoin. Uh, from when we got back into the market down here all the way to where it is today, it's been very sort of technically compliant with what we've expected it to do. Uh, and it's kind of followed the technical roadmap that we set out for it. And we expect it to, to continue to do so. Uh, yesterday, in yesterday's video, we spoke a little bit about the macro. Um, we spoke about the macro quite a bit this week uh, in regards to the coming liquidity. Um, you know, we did a video on who's going to buy the debt, who's going to be buying the treasuries up, what that's going to mean, the relationship between the Fed balance sheet and the money supply with assets and the liquidity cycle. And, and we've got this real good macro backdrop, including the election year, so on and so forth, that's going to support the technical patterns that we're looking at, not just for Bitcoin, but for the space at large actually coming to fruition. So we think Bitcoin is going to 151K. And this is something that I've only really shared with my Patreons in regards to the total two. So this is the total market cap excluding Bitcoin, which I believe is going to set up an inverse end shoulders that's going to see it rally to $3.7 trillion. Remember, the entire space in 2021, which is the bulk of the bull market, only got to $3 trillion. This is going to be a bigger bull market than the last. We've got lots of technical patterns on altcoins. And this is where we think the total market cap of the altcoin markets is going. Um, so we are nothing short of bullish. There's been a little bit of headwind against Bitcoin as it kind of consolidates around uh, also this run into a perfect technical level. Uh, it's all-time highs. But just like what we saw, I believe, in 2021, I do believe you are going to push, or well, going into 2021 in the last cycle, I think you are going to push above and beyond them. The halvening is something like, what, 30-ish days away? Let's take a look at our brave new liquid coin index. We ain't far at all. Around about April, so... What are we, 20 days, something like that, 15 days? I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments. Uh, people usually do. Um, but it's all systems go. Um, I know also right now we're seeing Grayscale actually emptying or the kind of arbitrage between Grayscale and uh, Genesis Trading and what's going on there with them swapping their GBTC for actual Bitcoin at this point um, because that's now been enabled. Uh, so still big outflows. That will dry up. Once that's dried up, you're just really going to be left with demand, um, in my opinion. Uh, and a supply that would have been cut in half in regards to new supply hitting the market. We already look at exchanges. You know, there's a real supply shock and a great narrative for Bitcoin that sees it gets that 150K. So very bullish, also bullish on the altcoin market. We are still waiting for Bitcoin dominance to roll, ETH, BTC, and a number of other things to play out, but we do think that comes later on this year. You've really not even seen your alt season. Let's talk about the breaking, inaccurate, I must say as well, news. So breaking, Europe has made self-custody crypto wallets illegal due to anti-money laundering laws. Now, I believe she is quoting Binbold's article, EU bans anonymous crypto payments to hosted wallets. So she missed out the hosted here. Um, what does hosted mean? And this is why people have kind of got this wrong. So... In a recent regulatory development, the European Union, EU, has voted to ban crypto payments to hosted wallets using unidentified self-custody crypto wallets. This decision is in part um, of a set of new anti-money laundering rules, AML, in the continent. 
Uh, the majority of the EU Parliament's led commission approved the prohibition on March the 19th, according to Patrick Breyer's post. Notably, Breyer is a member of the European Parliament for the Dutch, whatever it is. Um, and it goes on to talk. Uh, but the interesting thing is the community notes below this read, EU did not ban anonymous crypto transactions over $3,000 using self-custody crypto wallets. People are free to send crypto between self-custody wallets without any limitations. Transfers to crypto service asset providers using self-custody wallets will be subject to KYC and KML, which they already are. So if you have a Coinbase account, certainly I know I can speak on behalf of the UK and the EU, you need to have done KYC, KML. They make you do these stupid little quizzes where they tell you crypto's dodgy or whatever, you know, they want to, they're, they're forced to do. Coinbase don't believe that, I don't think. I think they're forced to do it by like the FCA in, in, in the UK, UK as an example. Um, <clears throat> so I just wanted to kind of report on this because I, I saw a lot of really worried individuals um, when in actual fact, the truth, is not quite what was initially reported. It's really just you transferring from an unknown wallet to a, a crypto service. That is kind of, you know, you need not, they're not banning that. They're just saying you can't do that anonymously. You can't just deposit into a, a, a crypto service and then take that money out anonymously, which we knew they were going to do. They are never going to allow you to have your own money. If you think about what's happened with crypto broadly, right, and we've been on this topic all week of corrupt governments and corrupt world that we live in, and we're not here crying about it and saying, oh, how unfair, we, we accept it and we call out the BS when we see it. Think about how insane it is that we've created something and the government now wants a slice of it. What right do they have to any of that? To pay taxes for key infrastructure and services? Well, there's absolutely zero correlation between upping taxes or taxes at this point and any kind of improvement of standard living. In fact, things are going the opposite way in the West. Um, so very interesting, but we thought we'd, we, we'd, we'd sort of report on that. Uh, BlackRock, a little bit of news out of BlackRock over the weekend. Um, they are saying BlackRock seeing only a little bit of demand for an Ethereum, uh, or sorry, for Ethereum from clients, says head of digital assets. Robert Michnik, the asset manager's head of digital assets, said that there's a misconception that BlackRock will have a long tail uh, of other crypto services. I don't think it'll be a long tail, but I do think they will incorporate more. I think Solana is going to be the first ETF through the door after Ethereum. We've spoken about our reasons why that is. People get very annoyed because we mentioned Solana. Well, leave your biases at the door when it comes to making money. You can, and I'm not the biggest fan of Solana as a project, but I think it's going to do very well. So the asset manager giant BlackRock BLK's clients have a little bit uh, of interest in Ethereum compared to Bitcoin, head of digital assets, Robert uh, Mitch Nick said, I can say that our client's base, Bitcoin is overwhelmingly the number one focus and a little bit Ethereum. He said during a fireside chat at Friday's Bitcoin Investor Day conference in New York. So you are, in my opinion, going to get an Ethereum ETF and I do think more will follow. We already see other altcoin products offered in Europe. Uh, and I think there's a few in Canada. I think we might even have a, a Canadian um, Ethereum ETF already. This is why we believe it. This is likely going to result in upside, which there's going to be a fundamental narrative, i.e. an Ethereum ETF on the back end of it. You also have ETH dump. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Things don't happen overnight. And we've got lots of altcoins that are doing rather well. Those of you that watch me regularly will know we've been calling out ICP for a while now. Um, and it seems to be doing... Um, pretty much exactly what we set out for it. Uh, and we expect this to go higher. And, and sort of doubling back and talking about our total, mar total market cap or total two. Happy days, guys. This is likely going to result in a $3.7 trillion market cap for um, the altcoin sector, which is going to likely align with um, what we see in regards to Bitcoin dominance, what we see in ETHDOM. Uh, and some of the others also others dominance which we haven't spoken about in a little while progressing in the kind of manner that we um expect it to and this is going to see a run to 19 percent. so good news is the real alt season hasn't even started yet again the eu has not banned self-custody wallets they're just basically banning people or saying that we're going to make it 
illegal basically for you to um, just transfer money into a crypto service like Coinbase, like some of the exchanges anonymously. You're going to need to declare who you are and likely where that money's came from. This is kind of already the case, um, to be honest. I mean, you try and explain to your accountant where a load of money came from. Um, you're going to have a hard job doing that, certainly in the UK, without, you know, anonymously. Um, you can't just say, oh, I, I just got this money. And, and, you know, this is the way that the world works. They've already well and truly overstepped their mark. I mean, taxes themselves, or, or, or I don't think anybody's against paying a little bit of their income for the greater good and helping people out. But to the degree that we are, um, rather interesting. Guys, that's all I've got for you in this video. If you've enjoyed this content, like is greatly appreciated. So is a comment. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Hang tight, stick to the plan, and we will see you in tomorrow's Daily Market Update. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a smashing Sunday. See you all in the next one.